Okay, here we are again. We're going to try doing this broadcast um, to pull Lori in to talk about emotional healing with essential oils and aromatherapy. I'm sorry, essential oils and flower essences. And let me see about getting Lori on. We did the introduction in the last video, but we had a problem connecting to get Lori on with the... Um, Facebook live broadcast. Okay, so we're going to try this once more. And let's see what we get. There we go. She's connecting now. Yay! <laughs> I don't know why, but it didn't work. <laughs> I'm telling you, you know, I hope everyone's back. It, we can't live without it. <laughs> <laughs> exactly technology is not easy is it no it's so unpredictable but we're straight now good 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 how are you doing this afternoon? <laughs> well this evening in france yeah and, and you know fortunately tonight we're talking uh my night your day we're talking about stress and tension and these kinds of things can cause stress and tension and so a true. good thing that we have um lots of essential oils and flower essences for that exactly exactly i had done your intro <laughs> on the other video we had the, the problem so i'm just going to do another intro so that we know exactly okay where from um lori again has been in go ahead and share it from, to the public again right she has she is a registered aromatherapist and certified flower essence practitioner has practiced in the holistic health field for over 29 years is certified in nutrition iridology and kinesiology she's an international teacher of aromatherapy and has founded and developed two aromatherapy companies in the u.s and in france she's founded and developed the Lori Hargis international school of aromatherapy she teaches online courses for students acts as a consultant for a leading natural health and wellness company. She lives in the south of France with her husband, a longtime distiller and youngest daughter on an organic farm where lavender, thyme, sage, and rosemary are grown and distilled for essential oils and hydrosols. Again, I will be there to see that farm one day. <laughs> <laughs> I sure hope so. I sure hope that you can come. <laughs> Lori is passionate about teaching others to access the natural healing powers of essential oils to enhance their own health and well-being and that of their families. So again, thank you so much, Lori, for this. Thank you for the information that you share. It is truly and, th and Well, thank you very much uh, for having me. I really appreciate it. You know, it's such a pleasure to be here again with you and offering this uh, wonderful uh, series on emotional healing with flower essences and essential oils. Absolutely. Thank you so much. So before we get to our question, I'd like for you to explain to me what is the flower essence, because that is the natural healing modality that we will be discussing on how to use for stress and tension. Are you holding on tight? <laughs> uh, Did you hear me? Okay. Yeah, I, I heard you a little bit. It's just because we have such a bad connection. And, okay. you know, we're out here in the French countryside, and it's like this small of a connection. So that, sometimes you sound like you're a computer going, nying, nying, nying. Oh, oh, you're getting that sound. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So what was your question again? If you could explain to us what's a flower essence. Okay. Well, a flower essence, you know, is a, a liquid potentized preparation which carries a distinct imprint of the character of a particular flower, which addresses emotional and mental issues. And so what I'd like to do is just kind of give you a, a little demonstration of how you make a flower essence. Mm -hmm. Now, remember, you do this in nature, where the flower is growing. You don't do it inside your home. Uh, you go where the plant is grown, where this flower blooms, and you do it right there in nature. That is the best way to make, a, that's the way to make a flower essence. So oh. I'm just gonna show you, I went and picked some roses in my garden uh, about 30 minutes ago, because it's still, just at nine o'clock, it start, the sun starts going down here. Okay. So what I've done is I'm gonna, I'm gonna move my camera here to show you guys, and let me 
let me grab this area here, my little thing. And so I'm going to pull my camera down so you can see. I don't know if you guys can see this. Nope. Can you, can you see the roses now? Yes, you can see them, yes. Okay. Okay. So here's the roses. And what you do is you pick the flower when it's in perfect bloom. And each flower has a signature to it. And it helps you with a positive, it brings out the positive in you. So say, for example, a rose, wild roses are for resignation. When you just don't feel like you, you have no will to do anything. Okay. And so when you infuse these flowers, roses, and it would be a wild rose, and this isn't a wild rose, but this is just a, sam a sample to show you. Mm -hmm. What you do is then you're going to add a uh, spring water to it. Okay. So you, you'd have your spring water and you would add that to it here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Like this. And so that's what you would do. You add the water to it. Mm -hmm. And uh, my assistant here is going to add the water for me. Okay. <laughs> So you guys can, so I can show you with the water. And then what you do is you infuse it in the sun. And so what it does is it puts the imprint in the water from the flower. And for example, this flower here, Rose for resignation, would help you have the will to have the joy to continue to do things in life and not to be resigned is how it works. Wow. So we're, we're going to, uh, we're going to try to put this down here for you guys okay. to see it. Yeah, can you see it now? Yes, yes, we can okay. see it. Okay, so you see, and so normally you would have the sun, so the sun, I'm gonna put my face back up here, sorry, but normally you would have the sun that would infuse the flowers then. You mm -hmm. would take that, the flowers out of the water, and uh, what you would do then is, then you would either preserve it with alcohol, or mm -hmm. you would preserve it with vinegar or glycerin. Okay. So this is how you make a flower essence. And this was developed by Dr. Bach in the 1930s. Okay. Dr. Bach realized that no matter what he did with this, no matter what kind of medication or surgeries he did with his clients, with his, with his, uh, his patients, patients mm -hmm. that they weren't really getting well. And so he decided to go out in nature and work with plants trees, flowers, and find out what nature had for us. And here's a quote I'd like to use from him. He said, in the presence of the way of nature, disease has no power. It is not possible for us to be ill unless we are not in harmony with our true nature. If we treat the mood and not the disease, we are treating the real person. And we are giving the patient what is truly required to bring about health. Any patient could eventually be cured if he was restored to happiness and a desire to carry on his work in life. Hmm. Very interesting. That's very interesting. I had no idea that's how flower essences were made. So thank you so much for sharing that. That was awesome. So yeah. <laughs> what what stress intention then? What why do we have to deal with these things? What is it? Well, you know, there's there are different kinds of stresses, and uh, in life we can have internal stresses, mm -hmm. uh, or we can have external stresses. Internal stress could be, say, for example, uh, I'm a perfectionist in everything I do, and nothing's ever right, and so I'm always mm -hmm. worried about things. So I make my own. Uh, it also could be, for example, say I was sitting at the dinner table with with some people and I'm I'm explaining something and I keep it. And this is something that constantly is happening uh, with the same person. So I mm -hmm. instead of me saying something, you know, please uh, don't interrupt me. I could hold that in mm -hmm. and I could let that dwell inside of me and then it would build up to tension, cause me stress. That's and then maybe this could keep recurring in, in the relationship. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's internal stress. Right. And then external stress could be, you know, for example, uh, I have a, a friend who uh, his boss says, you know, you have to work this weekend. And he's already promised his family he had a weekend out from the home, a vacation. Mm -hmm. 
And now he's got stress between his, he and his wife and his children. So we all, ha you know, we all have to have some stress, though. Right. And Scylla. Right. Right. That otherwise, makes... otherwise, we're just like vegetables. You know, we wouldn't do anything. <laughs> right. That's true. Because some people do work well under under pressure, as they say. <laughs> oh, and I'm I'm one that does that. You can ask. You can ask my team. <laughs> I am great under pressure. <laughs> I'm motivated under pressure. I don't know how good I am, but <laughs> <laughs> okay, Lori. <laughs> well, thank you for that explanation. So you were recently in Florida teaching essential emotional healing with essential oils and flower essences. What is this transforming training? What is involved? Well, uh, the trans the what we're doing is we're identifying patterns and habits. Uh, also things that in your stories in your life that you really want to change. And uh, this is what this emotional healing class is about. It's about making that transformation, recognizing really what is your pattern or your stress or your habit that you need to change and how you can transform that by using mm -hmm. essential oils and flower essences. I see. Okay. So with that knowledge, you can use it for yourself and you can also help other people, right? You're, you're going, I'm sorry to tell you, but you sound like a computer. Again. Okay. I'm so sorry. That's now okay. I can hear you perfect. So you ask okay. me again. I was just saying, so with that knowledge, we can use that knowledge for ourselves, but we can also help other people with whatever they're dealing with. Okay. Right. So who will benefit from this emotional healing workshop? Well, anyone can benefit from it. Uh, you know, I have uh, people who just want to help themselves and their family and friends. And then I also have natural health uh, practitioners who are in my class who have been uh, in, in the field for over 30 years who are taking the class and they are benefiting from it. You know, it was interesting because I was just at a woman's retreat uh, last week in uh, Pacific Grove. And so I was walking with some ladies uh, along, and uh, all of a sudden, I felt tension in my stomach. And I thought, you know, I don't have tension in my stomach. Mm -hmm. And I, I turned to my friend, Angela, who is a, a clinical pediatrician, and I said, you know, Angela, um, is your, are you having your, is your stomach really tight? And she said, oh, yeah, Lori, it is. And I said, well, you know what? Um, I have some uh, flower essences inside of my uh, purse. Would you like to take that? And I explained to her what a flower essence was, just like I did just a few minutes ago with, with you. Mm -hmm. And she said, oh, sure, I'll, I'll, I'll try it. So I said, you know, just take four drops and dro if you would like, this is what I would do if I were you. And she mm -hmm. said, sure, I'll do it. And she put four drops on her solar plexus. Okay. And then she took four drops under her tongue. And this is flower essences. And this is, uh, you can either, it's Rescue Remedy, which has five flowers in it, or Distress Remedy, which has six flowers in it. And I had Distress Remedy that day in, in my purse, because okay. I carry it on the plane with me when I travel, and, uh, or anytime I get uptight. And she came to me uh, two hours later, and she said, Lori, I have, I have no more stomach ache. It's wow. gone. I have been eliminating so well <laughs> since you gave me that <laughs> rescue remedy, <laughs> distress remedy. She goes, I can't believe it. <laughs> she goes, and, and then, so she felt great the rest of the retreat. She wrote wow. the, she, and she came to me and she says, I have to write this down for you. I have to give you this testimony. And I was right. like, oh, thank you so much. That's phenomenal. And so what she did was then she called her, she called her friend who is an intuitive healer and she called her husband telling them that, you know, she was so relieved from only taking four drops of this uh, rescue remedy or distress remedy, which whatever one you have. Right. And she got, she got a result. So you can see how fast these kinds of products from nature really work. Right. Wow. That's incredible. That's <laughs> the part about elimination. That's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> she was thrilled because, you know, sometimes when you get to places like that, you're, you're, you're just, your digestive system oh, is sure. not the same. 
Yes. Okay. So you're yeah. rooming with somebody else, you know, right. somebody you don't know, everybody there, basically you don't know, right. you're getting to know them. So you can have more stress with that. That's and true. this is, this was really a, a, a great testimony to what, how flower essences can help us with our emotions when they're, they're just stuck right there in the solar plexus in our mm -hmm. digestive system. And it was right after breakfast, you know, mm. so, uh, and she's an exerciser. So it wasn't like she wasn't exercising. She was drinking okay. plenty of water. She was, she's, she's vegetarian. She was eating all of her vegetables. It was just stress just and stress. tension in there. Wow. That's yeah. That's really interesting. Um, my mom and I read an article recently about the gut brain relation. That's fascinating. We can't get into that now, but it was so eye opening no. to me just to see how that works. So just what well, and it's right. just like yeah, just mm -hmm. like what she went through exactly, and mm -hmm. that's what was so beautiful about it. Though it was just these essences, you know, flowers uh, infused, and how they just helped her energy lighten up and let go of that stress and tension. Mm -hmm. And this 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 formulation is one of them that Dr. Bach developed in the 1930s because he realized. Uh, people were going through a lot of depression because it was during the time of depression. Uh, and so this, this, this formulation was made for shock and trauma and stress. Wow. And I've used it many, many times from my daughter slamming her toe into the, the door of the car, you know, Ooh, smashing it and yeah. putting it directly on the toe mm -hmm. and no bruise, no swelling. Uh, wow. Flower essences are beautiful, and that's why I'm teaching them in this emotional healing class how to use flower essences and essential oils together because they work so beautifully together. That's interesting. I'm so, so in excited to learn more about that. So the results are so encouraging, and you've shared a testimonial of someone that used your flower essences that you had with you. So I'm going to share just a couple testimonies from some of your students. Hey there, Shirley. Okay, great. Some of your students. So we have, um, hold on, sorry. Linda Cantor from Wyoming. She says, your class has given me the tools to use more essential oils. I am teaching two oil classes at a local hospital. I'm studying your materials and you really set the stage for that. I'm so glad I took your class. It was so great. Your books are so good and usable. I was impressed with your class. I certainly came home with so much more than the cost. You are amazing. I'm so glad I got to meet you and consider you one of the most gifted and loving souls in this business. And I really mean that. Have a great day. That's Aww. a lovely to you. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's really nice. Really great. And then we have Shirley Klaus from New Jersey. She says, my eyes were open to many new techniques for emotional healing. The essential oil blends made, the made in the class led me to more understanding about how to use flower essences and essential oils. Then learning how to reshape a negative personal story are some of the valuable things that I learned in the emotional healing workshop with Lori Hargis. So thankful that I will receive the recording of this as well because it was packed with valuable information on emotional healing that I will share in the near future. Yeah, another one. Aw, yeah. I love people go into this with the idea of helping other people. That's major. Yes, that that's really what's important here is 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 teaching others how to help other people. That that's what the whole thing is, is and teaching people how to take really responsibility for their health. So that way they know what essential oils or what flower essences that they can go right to and use. Yeah when they have a certain situation come upon them, you know, from lavender, which we're going to talk about in our next one. Remember, yeah. we're going to talk about anxiety. Right. So um, uh, this, this is something I think is really great. And then we had some, from our last dreaming, we had some comments too, I believe. Uh, I think we had some by Marsha, Marsha Bird. I think she uh, put oh. something up there. Was it yeah. Marsha Bird? Yeah. Yes, Marsha Bird. You know what? The font is smaller and I missed it. So it says, <laughs> I attended in April. I recently helped my 70-year-old, recently widowed neighbor who suffers with anxiety attacks by giving her a roll-on blend from Lori's recipes. She just called me and asked for more. I must find my notes as soon as this session is over. That's from Marsha <laughs> Bird. And she even recommended 
class, recommended the class to another. Yes, yes. And this is, I think that, you know, being in the class, you learn so much and uh, it's going to be great to be with you in Virginia. I can't wait to, to, to finally meet you in person. Know, right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Exactly. We've been talking so much virtually. We have a real conversation in person now. And yes. I'm really excited. Several people have expressed interest in signing up for the class. One of my really good friends of many years has been following the video. She's already ready to come up in October um, from Florida. So definitely. Gonna wow. Be yes. She already said, it's on my calendar. I am there. <laughs> Oh, that's great because we, we need, people need to get signed up because what will happen is we only have so much space in the room, right. you know? Um, so we, we need to have people get signed up now as soon as possible and get their schedule for that day. It's October 22nd. Yes. October 22nd. It is a Saturday and it will be in Old Town, Alexandria, Virginia, which is close to Reagan National Airport, DCA. If you fly into Reagan National, it's two train stops. Really simple. And if you're local, there's plenty of parking there. Um, it's right off of the Beltway, right over the Woodrow Wilson Bridge. So it's convenient no matter where you are in the area. Okay? Um, so, yeah. We and it's, it's from 1.30 to 6.30 in the yes, evening. Yes, 1.30 to 6.30. Um, mm -hmm. what other info? And I'm going to share the link again for, um, for those who are interested in signing up. You can just click that link and go right in and register. And what else do we need to say? Um, oh, and what languages will the workshop be offered in, Lori? Oh, yeah. We're going to have it in Spanish and English. Right. <laughs> That's going to be great because we have a, a really active practitioner connection in this area with the Spanish community. So I'm so excited that they'll have Yes, that. yes. And uh, also the information, if, if you are Spanish-speaking, the information is in Spanish for the Spanish-speaking people, and then it's it's directly interpreted uh, as I'm I'm speaking. Uh, it's it's right on spot the 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 interpretation of of what I'm saying, and then the English information uh, for English-speaking people, and of course everybody when after, when they've attended participate in the class, they get the slides and the recording. So that way they can go back to it and listen to it again and have all the information. And what about if they can't make it in person? Any options to attend? Well, we're going to have live streaming too. Um, and so they can be there for live streaming. It looked like we're going to have possibly some uh, uh, like uh, hubs of people yes. in, in like different like areas. Right. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, so that way everybody can get together in one place and watch it from one computer if they want. And I really suggest that if you're going to live stream that you have a partner so you can do everything in the class because our live streamers experienced it just as well as the people that were in the class. And I think that's great. That's good to know. And I think that answers. Marguerite just posted a question. Is there a way to watch a recorded class if you can't watch live? The only thing, Marguerite, as um, Lori just explained, it's very interactive, and we're going to be doing activities with partners. So it's important that you be involved Talk live so that you can have the full experience. Wouldn't you agree, Lori? Yes, it's to it's totally true. Uh, you need to you need to get signed up. You've got to be there for the live streaming. Or you've got to be in the class because otherwise you're just not going to catch the stuff. Exactly. Yes, you could. It's just better to be there and to have somebody, a partner with you. Everybody who did live streaming had a partner with them. Okay. And if you would like, um, what you can do too is we have Ruth, my marketing manager, is in, in here on our thing. And she has the link to get signed up now Sign for the class. Me. So we really need and, and get your friends to sign up because that way you have a partner if you're going to live, if you're going to live stream or bring a friend with you. We mm -hmm. want as many people as possible as the room will hold. Exactly. Exactly. So Ruth did post the sign up link a couple comments ago. So go in there and get signed up now. And um, you already explained that the online participants will also fully benefit. And 
some of the live streamers that attended last time in Florida or that joined when you were in Florida, one of the comments, one of the testimonies was my relationships with friends and family improved from the new techniques and information that I learned about essential oils in the emotional healing workshop. And that was from Guillermo Garcon in California. Yes. So and I think, uh, Yes, and, and, and he really enjoyed it. He did it with his wife. He and his wife did it together, so that's mm -hmm. super. Mm -hmm. uh, we had other people that invited a friend and did it with them. Now, the 22nd, I believe, is on a Sunday, isn't it? Oh, I'm sorry. Is it on a Sunday? The, the class a is Sunday. on a Sunday. It's on a Sunday. I'm sorry. Marguerite, you're absolutely right. It is a Sunday. So, yes, the 22nd is a Sunday. And Ruth just posted the link to sign up once again. Yes, so please go ahead and get signed it up. It is a Sunday. It is a Sunday. Yes, it's a Sunday. Yeah. So that was my, I misspoke. Apologies. It's October 22nd. No, that's okay. It's just, I, I just saw that uh, uh, Marguerite had said, oh, I can't attend because it's a right. Saturday and she wanted to attend. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a Sunday. So that's perfect. That's perfect. Uh, yes. uh, if you attend, it's, it's $175 mm -hmm. to attend. So you need to get signed up now because it increases yes. after August 31st. Absolutely. It's going to go up mm -hmm. uh, because normally we have a lot of people. And so we want to get everybody in there as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, uh, Oh yes, and our next live stream is gonna be is gonna be August second. Okay. It's gonna be August second at what three thirty normal time, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. That sounds good. So 3 :30. Okay, three thirty August second, and it's gonna be on anxiety and how to use essential oils and flower essences for that. Okay, that's great. Okay. That's a great segue from tension into anxiety. <laughs> and I saw a few people posted. Um, Suzanne made a comment. Suzanne, if you have something specific, please uh, include your email address in the comments, and I'm sure Lori will be happy to send any information over to you. Uh, Ruth just posted Lori's direct email if you'd like to send her any questions about the workshop. Um, the live stream. Oh, and go ahead. Oh, I was I was just gonna say the li I'm sorry to interrupt you. That's okay. Uh, that's the good. live streaming the live streaming cost is uh, seventy five dollars uh, up to August thirty first, and after that it's one hundred dollars. Okay. And thank you everyone who shared the video. Marguerite shared it. I saw a little ways back. One of my contacts in France actually shared it. Frank, thank you so much for that. Wow. Yes, <laughs> that's pretty cool. It's really cool. We definitely appreciate you guys sharing it. So wherever you are in the world, October 22nd, 1.30 Eastern time, you are welcome to join us on this amazing educational opportunity. Okay, Lori. Well, thank you again. Another outstanding presentation. Thanks for sharing how flower essences are made. That was really interesting. And uh, if you came in late, you definitely want to go back and see that because it gives you a great understanding of what they are and how they work. So that was really good. Okay. All right. Well, thank you so much, Ancilla. I really appreciate it. And I can't wait to be with you on August 2nd. Absolutely. So I will talk to you before then. And you guys have a good evening. Okay. Don't All forget right. your essentials. Use your common sense. Au revoir. <laughs> Au revoir. <laughs>